Okay, this lecture is on the effect of uh, climate change in a coastal aquifer. Uh, let's begin uh, with the water cycle, which can be an, a schematic view of a uh, real world of uh, watershed. So, rain is the main input. It occurs, uh, surface uh, runoff, also surface uh, retention, retention by vegetation, stream flow, infiltration or recharge to groundwater. This is the water table and a spring outflow, also base flow to streams interaction with uh, wetlands, with swamps, regional uh, groundwater flow, and uh, output to lakes or seas, evaporation from the sea, evaporation from rivers, swamps, yeah. also evaporation from groundwater, especially if the water table is close to the surface uh, terrain. Uh, uh, we have also transpiration by vegetation. And of course, groundwater use by humans. So that's an ecosystem. And all these components of the water cycle can be measured, can be estimated, can be calculated, and we can have a mass or a water uh, balance. This ecosystem can be at equilibrium where all the components are interacting with each other, and all the organisms living in this area depends on the environmental uh, components, including, of course, groundwater and surface uh, water. Many subsistence can depend on this ecosystem, for example, uh, water from springs or from uh, wells, for human consumption or irrigation, water used by vegetation, they flow to uh, streams and uh, also water used by uh, wetlands. Let's see how this uh, groundwater ecosystem reacts to some changing climate or uh, deforestation. Okay, so it can be the, the net effect <coughs> Uh, can be a change in infiltration. Here we have this uh, model at equilibrium with an infiltration of 200 millimeters per year. This is a 1D numerical model with a sharp sea water interface. So here with this infiltration we see that the water table Yes, uh, uh, it occurs here in uh, spring, and if we lower the infiltration by 10 percent from 200 millimeters per year to 180 millimeters per year, that's what happened. So from this situation, you can look at the water table. Yes, from the this situation to this situation. And there is an impact of springs, impact on uh, bay flow, and also some impact on uh, wetlands. Well, it really, the, the there is no uh, sea water uh, intrusion, at least at this uh, scale. So, if we lower the water table, this can cause a change in vegetation, which in turn 
less uh, surface water rotation, more surface uh, water runoff, and in turn less infiltration and so on. So <coughs> it can be uh, again yeah, an impact on uh, vegetation, even the wetlands can disappear and uh, well here you cannot see any sea water intrusion at least uh, this scale and if we lower it <coughs> the infiltration here a uh, hundred millimeters per year so it can be a source of contaminations some dry wetlands are uh, uh, contamination uh, sources and uh, here well with that uh, decrease in infiltration you could see that uh, of course there is some impact uh, here by seawater intrusion now if the uh, sea water uh, raise here you could see also again some water, uh, sea water intrusion also it can be some problems uh, geotechnical problems uh, by lowering the water table land subsidence for example uh, let's see here the spreadsheet <coughs> Uh, the numerical model and you can download from this website I use green for input and yellow for output for results and this is basically the finite different equation I use the hydraulic conductivity the infiltration the sea water density relaxation factor for the numerical solution here is the x direction, the delta x, cell infiltration, well here is millimeter per year, so here we have cubic meters per day per meter perpendicular to the screen. The water level in the river, so okay, here is the water level in the river, the water level in the wetland, the hydraulic resistance of the stream bed, uh, bed, the inverse or the conductance, the pumping rate in any of this point, the bottom of the aquifer, this line, the saturated thickness, the transmissivity, the baden geiben hersberg approximation, the is calculated by this uh, sea water density, the interface position, and the head, the water level. So let's begin with some pumping rate here at this point. So this is 16,000, okay, here. If you put 3.4 units, cubic meters per day, per meter, per meter uh, perpendicular to the screen so that's what we got ok well there is some uh, sea water intrusion because of that uh, pumping ok and now <coughs> let's change this 200 millimeters per year Yield by 10% to 180 and take a look to the interface toll and here where the water table intercepts the terrain surface so actually here uh, it occurs uh, yeah, a uh, spring so here no longer a spring and you could see here a serious sea water intrusion this is some kind of uh, one deep conic okay. okay 
even you can uh, raise the sea water level that fits here for meters okay here is the uh, finally okay we get this intrusion and no longer fresh water is pumping from this point and also there is a, uh, an impact on the spring thank you very much